Yo, what up, man? It's your boy, Mitch Fantastic, 824, the B-A-B-G, O-G, and I appreciate you for pulling up on me, man. Um, so, the if I don't know you, I don't owe you, okay, <laughs> uh, moniker is trending right now. You have more and more women that actually care about and understand the importance of having men in your life. Um, not only as, you know, protectors, but, you know, actually actual people that you value and not just use at your disposal okay that are near and dear to you in your life more of these women that have healthy relationships with with men be it their brothers their fathers uncles you know close family friends or whoever just positive male um relationships and aren't you know for whatever reason these misandrists are repeating a lot of the things that we've been saying here for years listen man um men have no problem and a lot of times men have no choice in being um you know the providers and protectors in situations there have been too many well-documented cases of black men especially laying it all on the line okay for the sake of their family hell for the sake of strangers you know um <laughs> as much as i don't agree with it you know using the example of the guy that you know almost got beat to death a couple of years ago and and, and, and you know <laughs> his body his choice he said he'll do it again uh not me my friend okay <laughs> bards not me no listen um as these ladies so eloquently state and people seem to understand it a man does not okay owe a strange woman his life or his health or his freedom or even the chance of any of those things just off the strength that she has a vagina, okay? Um, do not throw your pearls before swine, okay? Do not lose your life, you know what I'm saying, over a woman, bro, that doesn't even respect you as a man, okay? A person that's not going to show up to a funeral, a person that's not even going to see a, a flower arrangement, a thank you. And if you were to lose your life in a situation of DV, right? Or even some stuff where you just, you know, protecting this person, random person, man, listen, you cannot be replaced by any amount of money, all right? You can't be replaced by, um, you know, life insurance policy or GoFundMe or any of those things, you know? Um, and it's crazy as to how, you know, people talk about, um, this is the crazy part, right? Um, absent fathers, absent fathers, absent fathers, the father's not going to be there, you know, blame the fathers. Well, wouldn't this be a perfect example of a, a father making a poor choice to not be in his his um, children's or his family's or his um, woman's life for someone that, you know, taking an unnecessary risk? Again, man, um, operational risk man management, man. <laughs> Shout out to all my vets, man. Shout out to all the, uh, the sailors out here. You understand what I'm saying? Um, we take risk in life every day. But the thing is to understand if the reward out, outweighs the risk, all right? And me stepping into a situation that I don't know if you know this person. I don't know if you don't know this person. I don't know any of the details. I just see a dispute going on, going on between, two between two people. And I'm supposed to, again, put my cape on and put my underwear on the outside of my pants. And, um, you know, save the day. No way, no way. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. That's what we have police officers for. That's what we have, um, you know, security for. That's what you have a Second Amendment right for, okay? That's what you have the, the right to protect yourself for. Now, again, there are situations as to where um, men do and will step in, rightfully so. I, I'm not going to just stand by, if I can, by any any chance of, um, uh, you know, watch that person die, okay? But if you're just getting your ass whooped, hey, you got to take that ass whoop. Sorry. <laughs> I, 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 bro. She had enough. She had enough, brother. 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 Brother, brother, brother. She had enough. All right. It's just gone, gone. She, she, she got it. All right. But no, seriously. Um, women don't understand the dangers that come with conflict. Women don't understand and don't have to live in a life of the awareness of danger that men have to. Again, man, you know, being a BABG, uh, bro, I, I have not had a fair fight in my adult life. I, even when the people were like my same size, bro, it's, it's been always been at, at the minimum two on one. All right. 
Well, except for the one case I told you about with the little fella that got mad. And, and I played ball. So, you know, punches get swung, thrown, elbows swung, all these different things. Fights and stuff break out all the time, man. So I'm I'm very, very comfortable in conflict, right? Physical, physical con contact and all these different things. Um, women don't understand that because women don't have to deal with that, you know? People step out of the way of women. People, you know, um, are gentle and soft with women for the most part. You know, courteous, all these different things. But a man stepping on another man's shoe could end up in somebody dying, man. Okay? A man saying the wrong thing, you know what I'm saying, to, you know, another man could end up in somebody losing their, their life, man. Or, you know, going to the hospital or whatever. Some type of physical situation. And anytime there's a physical situation, a life can be lost. Um... I told y'all a story about the guy. Um, we were, I think, a couple years removed from high school, and uh, not even, not even a couple. I think it was less than less than two, like maybe more than one, like year and a half or whatever. He's out there hanging on the block or whatever, you know, doing hood shit or whatever. Gets in a fight with a fiend, fights the fiend. The fiend falls down, cracks his head, and dies. Now he goes to prison on a manslaughter charge, and but he never makes it out of prison, man. They beat him to death while he's in prison. You know, very very sad sad song, man. Um, shout out to Freddie Cole, bro. Um, you know, very, very sad song, you know, but women don't have to worry about that, you know what I'm saying? They don't have to worry about those situations, um, like a man does, you know, and um, it's gonna be easy for women to stand, stand by and, and watch something happen or say you should have stepped in, you should have jumped in. When again, ma'am, you don't know what the hell I got going on. I got I got far too many other people depending on me, okay? Directly. I have three children. You think I'm gonna fucking, you know, save the day and, and, and you know and, and poke my chest out and and do all this stuff, man, for you? And I don't know. I'm sorry. No. If I if I you know I'm strapped, I can help you out. But running in there to just no, because again, it's a safe assumption nowadays that everybody's holding something, all right? Something. If it's not a if not a firearm. It's a knife or a razor or whatever, bro. I am not jump, just jumping in a situation. I've seen it too many times. And again, women really don't understand unless they just, you know, some, some hood booger bitches. <laughs> I done seen a, a chick get a, her, her, her face sliced with a razor, man. You know what I'm saying? I seen a blade get up up out of nowhere. Okay? Um. So again, um, ladies, you need to understand. Um, and Charleston White uh, said something the way everybody, you know, understands now too get you a man okay and if not necessarily a man you should have men around you okay this is what happens when you build healthy relationships with men because it's not always that active thing either a lot of you guys assume this thing to be just active following great advice and following experience and wisdom can keep you out of a whole lot of situations okay what do you say what um an ounce of prevention is worth you know a pound of um, whatever I can't think of whatever it is right y'all help me out in the chat but preventing and avoiding conflict can completely and totally just change your whole life man alright it's been situations as to where hey I was supposed to go somewhere and do something or whatever la 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 and I was like nah that's, that's a little hood you know, that's somewhere that I'm not really trying to be at. And then lo and behold, you hear the story about, hey, man, you know they got the shooting. Oh, man, you know they got the fighting. Oh, man, such and such got sent to the, sent to the hospital. And lo and behold, I'm just here. Damn, man, that's crazy. Safe as hell the next day. You know, fortunately, again, because of the decision making that I made and understand, bro. Women, you need to understand there's not everything you don't need to do or you don't need to do by yourself. All right, um, there's power in numbers, right? So if you're a single woman out here, uh, glancing around and you know and, and doing whatever you're doing, um, you know, understand that there are risks with that. Well, I shouldn't have to, ma'am. It's a lot of things we shouldn't have to do in life, but you have to do it for the sake of, you know, just being. Don't worry about what shouldn't be. Worry about what is, and then adjust accordingly. Okay. But anyway, man. Hey. I greatly, really appreciate y'all for um, pulling up on me, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit me up on all my social media. Miss Fence has 84. That's that on that when I catch y'all on the next one. Holla.